Hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shen Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you live right here in St. Charles, Missouri, as always. Hey, this here is Tuesday, September 20th, 2016, V-Blog number 990. Hey, I got some happy birthdays going out to Larry Willis Jr., Shenandoah Patrick, Cheryl Davis, Tanferno. All right, hey, here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Larry Shenandoah and Cheryl. Happy birthday to you. Hey, and a special congratulations going out to Erica on your first job. Congratulations to you, Erica. All righty. Hey, that being said, let's go right on into what's happening in St. Charles. Well, let's see. Wednesday, September 22nd, we've got music on Main. That's right. From uh, 5 o'clock until 7.30 p.m. Join us uh, at the end of the 100 to 200 block of North Main Street. Bring your lawn chairs uh, to uh, this free outdoor concert. For food and drink available to purchase. Music this month is going to be provided by Butchwax and the Hollywoods. So be there, be square. It's a free concert. Why not? Alrighty. What else we got going? Oh, yeah, we got the Oktoberfest, so we don't want to forget about the Oktoberfest on, um, starting September 23rd, 2016, and, uh, it's going to be all kinds of chuck full of fun. It's for the whole family, food and gift vendors throughout the grounds, vintage car shows, uh, Winner, t- winner takes all Dutch Hound races and fashion show, 5K run and children's area for the adults. Three entertainment areas with great selections of German and popular music and, of course, cold beverages. That'll be down at Frontier Park on 22, 222 South Riverside Drive, St. Charles, Missouri, Friday from 4 4, uh, p.m. to 11 p.m., Saturday from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now, uh, let's see what else we got going. Um, On Sunday, um, let's see, where is that? Oh, still again, um, St. Louis Renaissance Festival is still, uh, that'll be Saturday and Sunday. St. Louis uh, Renaissance Festival is a long-standing event that brings you the adventures and excitement of the spirit of the Renaissance. Travel back in time to a wooded area where you can relive the life of the, uh, Knights of the Round Table. You will you can be uh, speak to peasants and and uh, people of that genre. So that's out at Rotary Park in Winsville, twenty five seventy seven West Meyer, Winsville. All right, and that'll be running through uh, October sixteenth. So get out there every weekend. Saturdays and Sundays through October 16th. All right. Hey, Sunday, fun day, September 24th, 2016. Uh, We'll be located at uh, 100 North Main Street. Uh, Live entertainment, food and drinks, and fun in the evening. Music by Stagger Cats. And uh, between the 100 and 200, no coolers allowed. 
participating restaurants include Bobby's Place and Tony's. Oops, what happened there? I lost something. Hold on. I don't know what I just done, but I lost something in the translation. Okay, there we go. Tony's on Main Street. Uh, Undertow, R.T. Weiler's, Bombshell, Lloyd and Harry's, Uncle Joe's, Mr. Thirsty's, and Latia and Pancho, Pen, Pancheo's, Cantina and Grill. Purchase a wristband and get food samples from all the participating restaurants. So, there you go. Come on down and enjoy the free concert. Alrighty, and I think that's pretty much wraps up the uh, whole thing there, the Oktoberfest. And then the Renaissance. Yep, that's got about got it for the this month. Well, for next month. Or that is this month, yep. That's pretty much got it for this month. The Augusta Bottoms Beer Festival. That's paid. Uh, ticket sales include free beer tasting, live music, and commemorative glass. So that one's a charged event. Out in Augusta's Brewery Company. That'd be uh, 5121 Water Street, Augusta, Missouri. All right. Anyway. I think I'm going to slap a song out for you, so give me just a second to wet my whistle. All right, here we go. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Bum 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 Sometimes in our lives we all have pain we all have sorrow but if we are not wise we know there's always Tomorrow, lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. For it won't be long till I'm going to need somebody to lean on. Please. Swallow your pride If I think If I have things You need to borrow For no one Can fill those of your needs That you won't let show You just call on me brother When you need a hand We all need Somebody to lean on. We all, I just might have a problem that you understand. We all need somebody to lean on. Lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. For it won't be long till I'm going to need somebody to lean on. I just call on me, brother, when you need a hand. 
We all need somebody to lean on. I just might have a problem that you understand. We all need somebody to lean on. If there's a load you have to bear that you can't carry, I'm right up the road. I'll share your load if you just call on me. Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. All right, there you go. Let's just lean on me. And here's another one that I figure I will put together. It's called Oh Happy Day. Oh Happy Day. Oh Happy Day. When Jesus walked. Oh, when he washed, oh, when he washed my sins away, oh, happy day, yeah, oh, happy day, oh, happy day, oh, happy day, when Jesus washed, oh, when he washed. When Jesus washed my sins away, yeah, 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 oh, happy day, oh, happy day, oh, happy day, when he taught me how to watch and how to fight and pray, fight and pray, and live in rejoicing every day. Oh, happy day, oh, happy day, oh, happy day, when my Jesus washed, oh, when he washed, when Jesus washed, my sins away, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, happy day, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day, he taught me how to watch, how to fight and pray, how to fight and pray and live rejoicing every day. Oh, happy day, oh, happy day, oh, happy day, oh, happy day, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day, oh, happy day, oh, happy day, when my Jesus, when Jesus washed, oh, when Jesus washed, when Jesus washed my sins away, oh, a happy day, oh, happy day, oh, happy day. My happy day. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I think that's just about giving us enough time to do our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. So if you just tune in to odb.org and catch the Daily Bread program for yourself, you can do that. I'm not allowed to read the uh, devotional due to the copyright issues. So what I can read for you today is Luke 24, 13 through 33. And if you're keeping up with your Bible in the year, you will be reading Ecclesi... Ecclesi uh, here we go again. Ecclesiastics 4 through 6 and 2 Corinthians 12. Alrighty, alrighty, today's devotion actually was called Connecting the Dots. So you just log into odb.org and 
sign in, subscribe, make a little donation if you would please, because they need it to put circulation around the world. Okie dokie, here we go. Luke 24, 13 through 32. And behold, two of them were going that very day to a village named Emmaus. Emmaus, Emma, Emmaus, which was about seven miles from Jerusalem. And they were talking with each other about all the things which had taken place. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself approached and began traveling with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. And he said to them, What are these words that you are exchanging with one another as you are walking? And they stood still, looking sad. One of them named Cleopas, Cleopas answered and said to him, Are you the only one visiting Jerusalem and unaware of the things which have happened here in these days? And he said to them, What things? And they said to him, The things about Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word in sight of God and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to the sentence of death and crucified him. But we are hoping that it was he who was going to redeem Israel. Indeed, besides all of these, all of this, it is the third day since this thing happened. These things happened. But also, some women among us amazed us when they were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They said they came saying that he had also seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just exactly as the women also women also had said but him they did not see and he said to them O foolish men and slow to heart to believe in all the that the prophets had spoken was it not necessary for the Christ to suffer these things and to enter into his glory then beginning with Moses and with all the prophets he explained to them the things concerning himself in the scriptures and they approached the village when they where they were going and he acted as though he were going further but they urged him saying stay with us for it is getting towards the evening and the day and now nearly over so he went to stay with them when he had reclined at the table with them he took the bread and blessed it and breaking it he began to give it to them then their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he vanished from their sight they said to one another we are not our hearts we are not our hearts burning with us while he was speaking to us on the road while he was explaining the scriptures to us were not our hearts burning there we go were not our hearts burning with us within us while he was speaking to us on the road while he was explaining the scriptures to us okay there you have it sorry that kind of it didn't sound right at first i had to repeat it just to make sure it sounded right to me anyway hey that was luke 24 13 through 32 all right 
looks like it's about that end of the program time, so I'm going to have to say goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Hey, this here is Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show. And as always, you know God loves you and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' name and come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope you are too.